Hey everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Josh Jordan. You can hear us on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. You can also see Josh's work at sportsmaphouston.com. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at Sportsmap H-O-U. Josh, the Jerry Lane incident the other night with Jeremy Pena and Alex Cintron, I mean, disgusting. It really was disgusting. The minor leagues are experimenting with two different robo-ump systems. One is where the robot calls all the balls and strikes, which I'm not crazy about. It's been problematic. The other one is a tennis-like replay system where immediately you get, you see if it was a ball or a strike, you can challenge. I like that one a lot. I think that will change baseball. We can get, we can finally be done with Angel Hernandez, Joe West, and Jerry Lane, and all of these guys, and all of this arguing about balls and strikes. I'm totally with you. I mean, we see baseball is, you know, moved to the pitch clock. They're looking to, to, to make the sport better, make it more fast paced. If people are arguing less, that's going to move the game along. I'm with you. I think I'd prefer the challenge system because it's, it's more like baseball, right? Pitch framing will still be a thing that people are used to where you know catchers will still matter on the defensive side of the ball so i think it's less of an adjustment for baseball fans it'll be more similar to the game that they're used to why is it that tennis is the only one that's got this right i just don't get it i mean because you challenge it right away you go look up at the screen it shows you where the ball landed it's in or out and we move on as opposed to baseball and football where the challenges are glacial they're terrible they stop the game it stops all the momentum it can't be more boring why is it we can't work figure this thing out i, I don't get it i mean we get the angel hernandez of the world that, that want to make it about themselves and he, I mean how many blow-ups have we seen with that guy and you know what kind of bothered me too was last year in the playoffs I heard so many commenters being like oh well you know the Astros are headed to New York expect a lot of the strike zone to be a lot bigger and a lot of calls to go against the Astros and oh when they're in Philly you know th that plate's going to be a lot wider for the Astros they're going to have to get used to that Th the strike zone shouldn't change based on what city you're in. Yeah, no, and listen, that, that situation the other night with Jeremy Pena where he, Jerry Lane leans in and is giving him a talking to, I, I, the, the players are paying the fine for Alex Centron because they're, so, they're, because they're behind him 100% on what he did standing up for his, uh, his hitter up there at the plate. These umpires, that they, and, and you know what, maybe – a challenge system where they can see I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong at right now yeah. that they will be a little, they won't be as obnoxious as they are right now. No, I totally agree. Before we even got into this, just in my mind, I thought it would be nice if somebody, like they had an earpiece for the umpire, so at least like during the game, they could let them know like, hey, you missed that one. That one was a little outside. Even though, you know, he already called it, at least he can kind of self-correct as the game goes along, but they don't even have anything like that in place. Well, Jerry Lane would have been, the whole time would have been in his <laughs> ear, hey, you missed that one. You missed. He was awful. He was awful awful and it hurts both sides if you want to know the truth I, there were a lot of calls that went the astros way but but they shouldn't it's a ball or it's a strike let's call it right make it right and if it's a challenge system then make it let's make the challenge system work let's go let's get this thing right baseball stop already with the with the, the having these guys have all of this terrible terrible umpiring day game in and game out let's move on it, it is my final takeaway john is that all the uproar from this, what I found out is that baseball fans hate umpires more than they hate the Astros. Oh. That was my big takeaway from all this. I mean, if you, I mean, everybody picked up this story, national outlets everywhere, and they were crushing the umpires because he instigated the thing. And so that just shows me they hate umpires more than they hate the Houston Astros. Which is almost impossible. <laughs>